Hello, I'm Will. What I talk a lot about is workplace violence. Now, within workplace violence, we have our sub-subjects of personal safety, long working, and dealing with difficult people, our incidents. Now, we're fastly coming into 2021 now. It's only around the corner. And I'm getting a lot of my clients, and even new clients, that are saying to me, well, you know what, Will, we've got the vaccine, and I'm over the moon. Can we just put training off? And I say, sorry, and they go, can I put training off to say we save the summer? because we should all have the vaccine by then. And I'm saying that's a big long gap to the summer because we're still, as I'm sure you will see on the new media, we're still having incidents of abuse, threats and assaults, whether you're in hospitality, whether you're over here in, shall we say, uh, retail, even in the travel industry. There's so many sectors, it takes too long to go through them all. And I say to them, well, Shelving it isn't going to be any good. We should be planning for the worst case scenario, i.e. the vaccine is stretched out across the year. I'm looking forward to getting back into the classroom. I'm looking forward to engaging with my clients. I'm looking forward to going back onto sites and doing assessments and writing procedures. And because our aim of the company since we started from day one was to promote safety of staff. And that's all we've ever done. But the thing is, is that I say to them, but we don't know what's going to happen in the future. I also give them examples and laugh and I say, well, let's look at it like this. If I said to you back in February 2020 that, by the way, by Christmas, you're going to have a different type of Christmas and a different type of New Year and you're going to be wearing a mask in, uh, when you go in shops or travel. You're going to have to have social distancing. You're going to have to wash your hands. You're going to have to wear, shall we say, sanitizer for your hands. There's going to be all sorts of these restrictions and you're going to be limited to how many family you can see. I'm sure one or two people would have gone, something wrong with that guy. However... We've got to look at options. We've got to look at plan for 2021. And I say to them, well, let's look at a couple of options. E-learning. A lot of people don't like e-learning. And I understand that because they feel like, well, I've got to sit in front of a monitor and there's nobody to help me. But I say to them, well, let's look at it like this. It promotes conversation. It promotes thought. If it's done correctly. We do e-learning. We, we do low work in e-learning. We do conflict management uh, and reducing violence within the workplace. And that's what I try to encourage them. Well, let's, it gets a conversation going. You've then got the most popular one at the moment, which is virtual classroom training, which I'm actually helping other organisations teach trainers how to use virtual classroom training. My own team, they're learning more about it. Now, this, what I'm doing here with you, is just a video, which I have in one of our studios here. Our actual uh, virtual classroom training uh, studio is next door where I'm stood up and we use flip charts and we engage, we use polls, we use breakout rooms and it promotes conversation. And the feedback over the past six months has been unbelievable. But again, going into 2021, if you're a sector, organisation, even a company that has staff that are engaging with the public, that are communicating with the public, they should still be doing some form of training to keep the skill level up. Because I come from the dark side of well training in the sense of I talk to a lot of staff that have actually had serious incidents in relation to workplace violence and I've learned over these years of doing this job that it's not actually the staff that sometimes get affected it's their loved ones so when I go back to the companies I say look stick to the guide in the sense of the primary the secondary and the tertiary which I've done videos on Moving forward into 2021, if you're in a position of responsibility for training and you have staff that have customer facing, trust me, they will benefit, they will thank you for any form of training that reduces the risk and improves their personal safety. Thank you for watching. Please follow us on our LinkedIn page at Quail Training. Please subscribe to this page because I'm consistently putting videos out on a weekly basis. Have a great Christmas as best you can. Have a happy new year as best you can. Stay safe whatever you're doing and bye for now.